Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the color profile options on the Canon R5C. If you've ever found yourself scrolling through settings like HDR, HLG, or HDR PQ and wondered what's the difference between these profiles and when should I use them, this video is for you. One of the main reasons these different profiles exist is to cater to the capabilities of modern displays and the demands of various projects. So as newer HDR displays become more common, profiles like HLG and PQ take full advantage of their expanded brightness and color ranges. As someone who's been making videos for a while now, I'm pretty familiar with profiles like C-Log3 and Rec.709, but honestly some of the other ones like HLG and PQ are relatively new to me too. So we're going to break it all down and explain how these gamma curves work and why you might want to use them. Let's get into it. Before jumping into the specifics, let's quickly explain what gamma curves are. Essentially, a gamma curve determines how your camera processes the brightness, contrast, and overall tonality of an image. Each profile is designed for a specific workflow or delivery format. So choosing the right one ensures that your footage looks its best on the intended platform. Let's start with C-Log3. What is it? C-Log3 is a logarithmic gamma curve designed to capture a wide dynamic range. This makes it ideal for professional color grading in post-production. C-Log3 retains more detail in highlights and shadows compared to profiles like Rec.709. It's designed to give you maximum flexibility to adjust contrast, exposure, and color during editing. So if you're filming high contrast scenes like an outdoor wedding, C-Log3 will help you retain details in both the highlights and the shadows just giving you a more workable image in post-production. So why wouldn't you just film everything in C-Log3? Well, I do with this camera because I want dynamic range and flexibility in post-production. But if you don't have time or experience with color grading, maybe you'd prefer a profile with baked in contrast and color. And that's where Rec.709 comes into play. Rec.709 is a standard gamma curve that you've likely encountered if you've done any video production. It's designed for standard dynamic range displays, which is like most TVs and computer monitors. It provides baked in contrast, saturation, and brightness levels that look pretty good straight out of camera. I think it's good for projects with tight deadlines or minimal grading requirements. So maybe you're shooting an interview for a corporate client and they just want the footage as quickly as possible. Rec.709 ensures that the footage looks good right out of camera, saving you some editing time in post-production. The downside is that Rec.709 doesn't have the dynamic range of C-Log3. So in high contrast scenes, you might risk losing details in either the highlights or the shadows. All right, let's talk about HDR HLG or hybrid log gamma. HLG is a gamma curve designed for high dynamic range content while maintaining backward compatibility with SDR displays. So HLG is unique because it allows you to shoot HDR footage without requiring extensive post-production. It's ideal for platforms like YouTube that support HDR playback. So maybe you're filming a travel vlog with super vibrant landscapes and want to showcase the full spectrum of colors and brightness levels on an HDR capable TV. HLG allows you to deliver HDR content without extensive grading. That being said, HLG doesn't offer as much flexibility in post as C-Log3 and its compatibility with SDR displays can sometimes lead to inconsistent results. So what is PQ? HDR PQ is based on the ST2084 standard and is optimized for mastering HDR10 content. HDR10 is a widely used HDR standard that offers expanded range of brightness and colors compared to SDR. So again, we're thinking more vivid highlights, richer shadows, and more accurate color reproduction. PQ provides a lot of detail in highlights and shadows, and this makes it ideal for projects where HDR is the primary delivery format. So if you're creating content for streaming on a service that supports HDR10, PQ can help ensure that your footage takes full advantage of these modern displays. But like HLG, PQ doesn't provide the same level of grading flexibility as C-Log3. Additionally, its compatibility is limited to devices supporting HDR10. The Canon R5C's color profiles are an important tool to help you tailor your footage to specific workflows and delivery formats. So whether you're shooting for HDR platforms 
or doing a lot of color grading in post or just delivering quick turnaround projects, understanding these profiles will help you elevate your work. For me personally, I'm gonna keep shooting in C-Log3, but let me know in the comments which profile you use most often or if you'd like me to test a specific setting. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more filmmaking tips and gear reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.